If you've been on YouTube Shorts long enough, you may have encountered some of these ball bouncing videos quite frequently. You may have even seen some where a ball bounces down a set of stairs or platforms and plays the melody of a song. Well, I am one of the creators that actually have made some of these shorts, and I'm making this video to demonstrate how the algorithm behind these videos actually works. And so if you find this video helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as I'll be posting more cool content related to this in the future. Without further ado, let's get into the algorithm. Before starting, I would like to define an array called notes. The array of notes will have objects of which have two properties, one being the name of the note so that we can play the note correctly when the ball bounces, and the other being the time relative to the start of the song at which the note will be played at. This array would usually have a couple hundred notes in them so that the ball bounces for a considerable amount of time, but in this case we're just going to simplify it to only a couple notes. Now let's focus on the ball. It has an initial position as well as an initial constant x velocity, and when we release the ball, it follows a parabolic trajectory downwards. Once the duration of the first note has passed, we add a platform. Since the ball is moving in the negative y direction, the platform should be placed right below it. Then we let the ball bounce off of this platform, and as it moves up, it eventually reaches the duration of the second note, at which we place the platform above it since it's going in the positive y direction. And so this goes on for however many notes are left, and now we have to worry about how long the platforms will be. Generally, it's best for the platforms that are placed below the wall to extend to the nearest peaks, while the platforms that are placed above the wall to extend to every dip. This would ensure that the platforms are nicely visible and have enough space for the ball to hit them when they're generated. Now, this is essentially the workings of the algorithm. However, there's one big issue. Let's run the simulation again, except this time, let's make the ball much bigger. Now, as the ball bounces, you can see that it actually intersects the second platform. This is a big issue since it could change the trajectory of the ball in the simulation itself when it's actually playing the notes. So an easy fix for this would be to go back two notes, make it so that the ball bounces faster from that note, and test it out again. It seems as though the issue has been fixed, for this one at least, however, just for safety, let's do it one more time. Now you can be assured that the ball will not hit the platform again, and by doing this trial and error technique, you can actually avoid many of these faulty platforms. And so those are the main logistics behind the algorithm. There are a couple more issues, such as the ball colliding with platforms after a long note, or the ball bounces not looking as natural after we've done multiple trial and errors, but you can usually get rid of that by adding a max velocity to the ball. Anywho, once you add a bit of music, you end up with something like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, leave a comment on what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you again later.